What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today we have worst to first on Sonic Screwdrivers. So welcome to the Whovian Alliance channel and this is a brand new series um, that I've kind of started up. Uh, if you didn't see the worst first video I did last time, click up on the top right hand corner and it will uh, pop up. It was Doctor Who logos first to worst but this time I'm doing Sonic Screwdrivers. Again, my opinion is going to be totally different to yours and I know that because <laughs> uh, I like different stuff to what you're like um, but comment down below um, what your favourite Sonic is and what your least favourite Sonic is. Today I'm only going to be looking at the main Doctor Who Sonic so I'm not going to be going through any of the other devices like uh, Sarah Jane Sonic Lipstick, the uh, Sonic Lance and the Master Screwdriver and River Songs, that will be in a different first to worst video. But I'm just going to have it to one per Doctor for the Sonics. So let's get straight in with last place. So in last place is the second Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. It's the first, it's the original, but in my opinion it's the worst. It just looks too plain, it's too boring. I know for that time, um, a bit like the logo, it was a bit boring and plain, but um, this started everything off. This was the only one in the classic series, I do believe, that had a light um, emitting from the end. Um, so it seems like the uh, new Who has kind of taken that from the first Sonic. But yeah, all it is is really a, a metal rod. <laughs> so that's why it's in last place. Second to last place. A very un um, controversial opinion, should I say. It's the fourth Doctor's Sonic. Um, I know a lot of people do like the Sonic, but I'm just not the biggest of fans. Um, I do like this kind of ring with the bullet design on it. I just don't feel like it's as good as the ones coming up. It's just really plain. It's just silver down the column. Um, I much prefer the other ones coming up, just because they add a bit more to the Sonic. Um, the only thing I can say about this is it's just a bit too plain. Um, I like the black rings going around the uh, centre bit. And yeah, it's just plain. So that's why it's this far down. But I do like this one, unlike the second Doctors. Next up is the fifth Doctors. And this one is basically the same as the fourth Doctors, but just with a white ring. And that's why it's above it, because it has something different about it. I just like the white ring. Um, it kind of uh, complements his uh, cufflings there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there's not much to say about this Sonic really. It's basically the same as the Force, but with a, a white ring. Next up is the War Doctor Sonic. I do like this one, but I don't like it as well. It's kind of... Eh, I do love the Sonics having a light at the top. I feel like that should be a key part of every Sonic. So I like the red at the top. don't really like the bottom kind of fez looking like red cap. Um, I think that's a bit weird. I don't know what's with that. But the body of the Sonic looks pretty much the same as the fourth Doctor's. Um, but yeah, it's it's all right. Um, it's just the light gives it the edge on the previous two Sonics. Um, I wouldn't say it's a bridge of the fourth or the eighth to the tenth. I would say this is more of a bridge between the second and the fourth, if I'm honest, with the uh, kind of light. But anyway, I do like this design. Let's get into the next one. So next on my list is the seventh slash eighth Dr. Sonic. Again, this is very similar to the previous classic Sonics, which get, uh, but this one gets the edge of that gold ring. I love gold on anything. And uh, yeah, the gold just adds to this Sonic. Um, doesn't have the um, kind of red ring. Instead, it goes with this silver design, which I'm all right with. It looks pretty neat. But yeah, overall, this is um, probably one of my favourite classic Sonics. Then we get into the new series, and it's the 13th Doctor Sonic. When this was released, um, I, I was a bit iffy. I liked some bits, and I didn't like other bits and I'm pretty iffy now. Um, we know all the controversy about this Sonic looking like something else but we won't go into that. Um, the light uh, crystal thing is probably my favourite part about this. Um, I just really do like that kind of crystal element to it, a bit like the TARDIS. 
um, interior. It's made out of spoons and stuff, um, so a bit weird. I love the light emitting throughout the uh, centre and the bottom of the Sonic. That's different from any other Sonic we have to date. Um, but it's just a bit weird, isn't it? The shape's a bit weird. Um, it's different. Uh, did they put it off? Mm, I think they could have done a bit better with it. But uh, overall, I do like it. And for my favourite classic series Sonic, it's the third Doctors. A lot of people don't like this one. Um, but I do. I love the yellow kind of spinny, yellow and black spinny kind of thing uh, design. I think it looks more like a device really. I feel like the other ones are too plain. It just looks like a metal rod. This one looks like a sci-fi equipment that the third Doctor would use. And yeah, that's why it's my favourite classic series Sonic. Now we get into the final three Sonics and they're all new series. And in third place, it's the 11th Doctor's slash 12th uh, Sonic Screwdriver. Oh, the nostalgia, nostalgia for this Sonic is immense. I used to play with this Sonic so much. Um, I just love it from the bottom cap to the uh, white column, to the leather button, to the uh, bronzy kind of metallic-y section in the middle with the kind of silvery uh, strands coming up it, with the uh, little bolts and nuts everywhere around the Sonic. It's just a well-built Sonic with the green emitter, which, if I'm honest, I prefer a blue emitter, um, but the green emitter it's right. Um, I do like the uh, when you can uh, flick out the Sonic, which is probably the best part about the Sonic, that it flicks out and you have those four claws coming straight at you. Um, and you can see like the green column in the middle. I think that's my favourite part of the Sonic. So I'm not a big fan of it when it's in closed mode, but when it's in open mode, I think it's an awesome Sonic. But it just couldn't beat these two next ones. So in second place is... The 10th slash 9th Doctor's Sonic. This is again the Sonic that I grew up with. Um, I just love it really. The nostalgia for it is amazing. Uh, the blue kind of emitter at the top is my favourite emitter out of probably them all. Um, it's just so classic feeling. The um, wire going around the middle shows that it's a kind of tech technology based Sonic which I really do like um, I don't know if it changed colour like the wire because it's yellow there I don't, I don't know um, the blue little uh, slit um, in the middle of the uh, Sonic looks pretty cool it's it's all right I really like the cracked porcelain effect um, gives that kind of alien alien kind of weird mystery about it and the end cap is pretty cool and I can just remember playing with the toy. You could take that end cap out and uh, have that hidden message writer thing. So this is really based on nostalgia, but I love it anyway. So in first place, that does mean it is the 12th Doctor Sonic. I know a lot of people do like this Sonic, and I know a lot of people who don't like this Sonic. Don't hate me in the comments, but tell me in the comments down below what your favourite Sonic is. I really do like this one. The emitter is fantastic. Bet it's either better or just the same as the 10th Doctor's. I love that it can change colour. Um, so you could have it blue, white, green and red. And yeah, it, it just looks like the TARDIS lamp. And I feel like that. I always like it when the uh, Sonic kind of resembles the TARDIS interior. I feel like that's amazing. All the exterior. Um, so yeah, the blue going down it is fantastic. Um, the blast kind of strands or struts, um, not brass, silver struts, they're, they're alright, they can be a bit blocky but they're alright. The uh, switch on it is pretty cool, the clamps, again, it might have not needed the clamps, um, but yeah, overall, this Sonic is the best. I love how it like keeps on going down the end, you've got like a blue, then a gold, then a silver. Um, but yeah, overall, this is my favourite Sonic. Partially because of the emitter and the different colours you can have about it. And the toy really, um, the character options toy really uh, gave me the love of this Sonic. So thank you guys so much for watching this worst first 
on sonic screwdrivers if you guys want to subscribe to the Hoovian alliance make sure to do so and smash that like button for more worst to first videos so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye